this is one of the few teams that has some real size advantages over you. Uh, clearly, you do your part on the glass. Uh, they, nonetheless, they have 15 offensive rebounds. What, can you think of ways, to, especially when you have some smaller groups out there, to hang in there a little bit more with them um, as the series goes on? Uh, we just got to box out, um, put a body on their bigs. Um, you know, Eric Gordon, DJ, Jokic. Um, just got to get into our legs. Uh, we just sit there and just try to sit on top of their legs. They usually just, you know, out jump you, you know, because they're bigger. So um, that hurt us tonight. Uh, the offensive rebounds on their side. Uh, you know, especially in the third quarter, late in the second, kind of just cut into the lead. And then the third quarter, they just got to <clears throat> open up the lead, and especially some big possessions where we hold them to one shot and then, you know, offensive rebounds. So. Uh, we got to make that adjustment for game two. Clearly, you had some good stretches as a team. You were effective on both ends. Where where do you try and take something out of that to, to come into game two, right, with a, a mindset that you can come back and get a win? Yeah, I mean, we got to look at the film, see what worked for us, what didn't, um, on both ends of the floor. Uh, try to stick to it. Um, you know, our early turnovers and uh, poor shooting to start the third. Um, you know, kind of got into it. You know, our defense was, wasn't was where it was supposed to be, how we started the game. Uh, you know, KCP got open a couple times. Michael Porter hit a couple threes. Um, and, you know, kind of, once they see the ball go in uh, when you're a shooter, you get all the confidence in the world. So, um, you know, we'll look at it tomorrow and uh, figure out how we can be better on both ends. AD, we've spoken about how they come at you in waves, and, and you know if you try to cut off one part. There's other parts you got to be cognizant of. We just have some numbers that uh, Jokic shot eight for nine against Rui, um, and even if that's in the scheme of, of what you're asking Rui to do, uh, is that a matchup where you may just have to take more of it on your own, um, take more possessions against Jokic? Um, if there aren't better options available to you guys defensively? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, kind of got to it late. Um, <clears throat> you know, before, you know, really has done a great, good, great job on him previously, you know, just being physical with him and pushing the catches out and making it tough for him, shooting over the top. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, we'll look, we'll look at it and, and, and make our adjustments. Um, Talk um, talks among talk among ourselves and ourselves and just kind of see, um, you know, were we helping Rui? Were we leaving him on the island? You know, when he scored, things like that. So, um, and then we will make the proper adjustments going into game two. If that means that I'm on him uh, for the whole game, then so be it. Uh, but um, you know, that was the game plan going into uh, tonight. <laughs> Eddie, uh, they're, they're one of the few teams that attempts fewer threes than you guys uh, entering tonight's game, but they attempted 13 more, hit seven more. How much of that was the offensive rebounding and, and kind of the, the kickouts that that led to versus the, the scheme and kind of how you guys were defending them? And then cause it felt like they got a lot of open corner threes on the weak side. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, with me guarding their guys who struggle shooting the basketball, uh, you know, just trying to help everywhere on the floor. You know, and they kick it to Peyton Watson twice, you know. I think he went two for four um, or maybe two for three. I'm not sure. But I know he made two in the corner um, when he first checked in. Uh, you know, the three wasn't falling for us tonight. Um, and that's what they do. I mean, when they still get the offensive rebounds, they're now in the paint, you know, and we're crowding them. They're kicking it out for threes. And, um, you know, that was a big – Big difference in the game. I mean, we shot eight for twenty-nine. Uh, it was fifteen for forty-two. Um, which isn't great, but <clears throat> they made some some timely threes. You know, Michael Porter, uh, the one on me, KCP. You know, hit one. You know, uh, and hit the the walk-up three. So, uh, Jokic hit one. Jamal Murray hit the step step back three. So, uh, it wasn't more so. Uh, the way they shot, it was the timely threes that kind of, you know, either cut their lead or extended their lead and kind of got the crowd into it. So um, we got to do a better job of that. But on, on the offensive end, uh, we got to make some. Kobe.
<laughs> Mike mentioned Denver's offensive rebounding, which lets uh, 18 second chance points. They also had 21 <coughs> fast break points. How much is it a matter of, obviously you guys want to play as close to perfect as possible, but just cleaning up one of those aspects, whether defensive rebounding or transition defense, how much can just doing one of those things better make a difference in this game? That's what we talked about. Uh, I think I told you that at, at uh, our little shooting round yesterday that uh, we can't be bad at both. Um, can't be bad at defensive rebound and transition. So uh, something that we struggled against this team with uh, since last playoffs. And, uh, you know, we can't not be, we can't not excel in, in one of them, you know, especially not both. So, um, you know, once again, that's our Achilles heel, and we have to uh, be better in both departments, if not one. Last two, Dan. Eddie, what's the message to D'Lo after this? Uh, I think we all know how badly he wants to play well in this series based on what happened in the past. Um, did you like his aggressiveness tonight? And I guess after a rough game, when that kind of exists in the back of people's minds, is there anything that needs to be said to him? Um, let's get ready for game two. I mean, we can't do anything about this. You know, uh, but you can do something about game two. Uh, we know what D'Lo brings to our team. Offensively, he can score, uh, shoot the ball extremely well. Um, just got to do it, you know. You know, it's not a regular season game where, you know, we have time. You know, we're down 0-1. So, you know, we have to, uh, you know, everybody, you know. I do like the aggressive. I mean, really has to shoot the ball more. He only hit four shots. Um, be like, I think he has to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, but you know, we got to see the ball go in. Um, I think that plays a, a factor. A lot of our guys are rhythm players. So, you know, you miss the first couple, ball feels a little weird or, you know, it could be a mental thing. I'm not sure. I haven't really talked to d yet. But, um, you know, it's on him to just come in and we're going to continue to preach, uh, you know, preach to you know, continue to shoot the ball and, and play how he's been playing, you know, up to this point. Um, I think he's a player that never loses confidence in himself. But um, I think when you see a couple go in, uh, it'd be a different player. Last question. Hey, Diaz, you walk out of this building tonight and think <coughs> about how well you guys uh, started, how well you personally played. But that third quarter, mm -hmm. what is it about that third quarter? Without looking at film, I respect that. Yeah. Well, that you got to change. We got to come out and, and play with a sense of urgency. Uh, we had some turnovers to start the third quarter. We had some bad shots. They got in transition. They made some shots. Um, but I think uh, our sense of urgency was really low. Um, you know, some uncharacteristic turnovers uh, where it was just like lazy. You know, uh, it wasn't trying to make the right play. It was just live ball turnovers that we can control and um, that kind of got them going. Um, but I think it actually started, you know, late in the second, you know, kind of carry over into the third. So um, she's got to be better coming out at a halftime, um, especially on the road. You know, we can't allow, you know, a team. I mean, if you look at the rest of the quarters, I mean, we were solid. Like I say, late in the second, they, you know, cut the lead, put you out ahead 32 in the second. but. Um, I think we were pretty good defensively, you know, 25 in the fourth, 25 in the first. But that third quarter uh, and the end of the second quarter um, hurt us and gave them momentum and confidence. And, uh, you know, when you play a team like this who already have enough weapons, you know, you just can't give them easy ones. LeBron, what did you feel like you guys were doing to have the good first quarter, build the 12-point lead midway through the second? Um, anything different from the previous matchups, and, and how did that flip as never got back into it? Um, no, we, I mean, it's not like we came in with, a, with a, a whole new, you know, game plan or whatever the case may be. I just always playing good basketball. Um, we came out, got some good shots. We was able to connect on some shots and, and uh, build up a 12-point lead. And obviously, they, you know, they cut that lead to three at the half um, with the spurt that they had in the second quarter which led them into the third. They, they rolled that momentum, um, you know, and you know, got up to a double-digit lead for themselves. Offensive rebounding tonight, they had 15. You know, they're a big team. Uh, what what can you do uh, to clean that up better as a team? I just get bodies, hit bodies. And, uh, you, know, it's, it's, you know, it's challenging at times. Obviously, Aaron Gordon does a great job of playing that dunker spot. And, you know, we get caught on rotation sometimes in the smalls on them. Um, you know, obviously, Joker, his ability to, um, 
uh, rebound his misses or just rebound in, in general. Um, it's a big team. You know, it's a big team. They got a big uh, uh, front court and, and MPJ. Uh, Joker and Aaron Gordon. Uh, we just got to do a better job of trying to get hits and then collectively rebound, uh, you know, defensive glass. Going into game one, LeBron, we spoke about the need to play 48 minutes to shake off any execution they have to be able to, you know, do your best on the next, on the other side. How do you feel like, as a group, you would assess that, like, in terms of needing to stay connected mentally as well as possible? Uh, we could have been better. Um, I thought we played some good ball tonight, but we could have been better. We know just don't have uh, much room. <coughs> Excuse me. You don't have much room for error versus Denver team, especially at their on their home floor. Um, they're just a team that's been through everything. Obviously, they're the defending champions. So, you know, you got to execute. You got to make shots. You got to defend. Um, and then you can't give them extra possessions. You know, like you said, you know them having uh, 18 second chance points when you're trying to when you're defending already versus a high powered offense team. That's going to be already difficult right there in, in, in his own right. LeBron, uh, entering this game, Denver was one of the few teams that attempted fewer three-pointers than you guys, um, and, and they attempted 13 more tonight. Do you feel like part of that was the, the offensive rebounding? What Was that the, the scheme of, of what you guys were willing to give up, or, or how would you assess kind of that, that increase on their end no, threes? No, we're not willing to give up anything. Uh, you know, I thought they got some um, in transition. Um, KCP hit a couple you know, in transition where we weren't able to get back and get numbers. Um, you know, and then they was able to get some good looks as well throughout the course of the game. But, you know, I mean, we don't want to give up anything, uh, you know, but, you know, they shot the ball, you know, pretty well. I mean, 35 percent is 15 threes compared to our eight was eight for you know, 29. So, you know, they won that matchup right there in the three point line. Uh, what about tonight or what from tonight's game, I guess, gives you confidence that you guys are going to be able to bounce back, bounce back strong for game two? Because uh, it's a seven game series. LeBron, um, you said in New Orleans, I mean, that we're going to need to play pretty close to perfect basketball. Um, you said it again tonight. When that's the standard you know that's necessary to win, um, can that lead a team to press a little bit? Uh, and, like, I guess what's the balance between, like, guys playing freely and confidently, also, though, knowing that the attention to detail has to be so granular um, against a team that can take two mistakes and turn it into an 8 0 run? Oh. Uh. Well, I've never played on a championship team that didn't pay attention to detail. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You have to. Hey, LeBron, um, you hit that three-pointer right before the half. To, it felt like it took away some of their momentum. But in the third quarter, they outscored you guys by 17 points. What bothered you most in that third quarter run? 14. But, um, you know, they did a, a pretty good job of just uh, – I mean, they made shots. Uh, they made shots, and we were not very good offensively. I thought we had some good looks, but you know, we weren't able to connect on them, but you know, they did a good job. Last question. Yeah, given this team's recent history with Denver, how do you fight the feeling of here we go again? For me? Or are you talking about I, I don't – that doesn't matter to me. I don't ever get into a here we go again mindset. You know, it's one game. They protected their home court. We have another opportunity on Monday. Um, to come back and be better, uh, we know how we know how challenging it's going to be. We know how difficult um, this opponent is and how great they are. So um, that's all a part of the game. Um, just start doubting you. I don't. I don't get into the to, to the doubt mindset. That's just, that's not me. I'm the wrong guy to ask. Appreciate it. Delo, uh, midway through the second quarter, you had built a 12-point lead. Uh, what did you see switch uh, when, after that timeout, Denver goes on the run, a couple turnovers, and did you feel like that carried through to the third quarter? You said what switched? Did you see anything switch in the, in the game, like the way Denver was playing, or the, the game kind of flipped at that point after you were up 12? Was Jokic in the game? Stretch, yeah. I don't think he was in the game. Um, yeah, um, I just feel like we took advantage of him being off the floor. Simple as that. So, so once he got back, then you feel like that that got them back to doing what they do, and it was difficult yeah. for you. Yeah, obviously. I'm sure some of those looks, you'd want to get back. You know, you'd some rim out, some were open, and and just graze off the rim. Uh, just what did you make of your night overall, and how much would you put your six for twenty on on you, just missing shots you yeah. know how to make versus what they were doing to you defensively. Great looks. I mean, I can't be mad. I mean, I, 
I don't recall the last time I got 20 shots. So for me to get 20 good looks, not 20 good, probably five or six of them were questionable, but I know what I'm capable of. So honestly, I'm, I'm excited, excited about that. You're, you're excited for game two just because? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, right? I mean, I just feel like, you know, um, sometimes the ball just don't fall, you know? I was locked in on um, all the details and the little things, just to try to, you know, stay on the floor defensively and things like that. And when you look up, your shots aren't falling. So no no love loss. Can't be upset about that one. Um, be ready for the next one. After scoring 60 in the first half, you guys were held to 18 in the third quarter. Uh, either offensively, what wasn't working for you guys in that quarter, or defensively, what was Den Denver doing well to limit you guys in the way that they did? Uh, I think as a team, we shot 27% from three. So trying to keep up with them and their, their high-powered offense, shooting a low percentage from threes, I think that was the big difference. Um, and offensive rebounds. D'Lo, as you walk out of this building tonight, I know you haven't looked at the film. What, what frustrates you as you put your head on the pillow tonight? Was it that third quarter? Was it as simple as your shots not falling? For you, what is it? Definitely not frustrated about missing shots. I, I love the looks I was getting. So honestly, I truly mean that. I mean, I'm excited about that, knowing that I got the looks that I wanted, things like that. And we just missed shots. But <clears throat> I mean, you watch the film, you learn from it. You see where, you know, little little nuances that we could, you know, be better. Um, I think. Um, I mean, I thought we did solid, honestly, defensively. I thought we contained a lot of their their first uh, first haymakers and, you know, made them use counters and things like that. So they're a really good team. You know, you, you try to pick your poison. Just a quick follow-up to that. They're the defending champions. They've won nine straight. How do you avoid that between the years, between now and Monday, and have the confidence to know we can get one here in Denver? I'll just act like you didn't say it and um, forget you said it and, and just keep moving. D'Lo, with the, the offensive rebounds and the threes that they were generating, I know you haven't watched the film yet, but how much of that was you kind of, you guys overloading the, the strong side and not allowing guys to either crash from the weak side or feel like they got a lot of open corner threes? I mean, you just got to pick your poison with this team. So, you know, um, you got to give up something. You know, you got to sacrifice something with our rotations and things like that. And, you know, as long as the person that we want you know, are shooting those shots. I, th I think that's something we got to live with. Um, I know Peyton Watson came in, hit two threes, you know, huge threes for them. Um, I think that was really it, you know, Michael Porter. You know, just little things like that off the offensive rebounds, trying to limit them getting three-point shots up. <clears throat> Hey, Austin, uh, Darvin identified the, the offensive rebounds that Denver had as a, kind of one of many big keys. What, what are you guys seeing out there? What can you try to do to limit uh, what they've been able to accomplish on the glass, uh, not just tonight, but the last several matchups? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, they're a physical team with, with Jokic and uh, AG down there, uh, two very good offensive rebounders. <clears throat> they spray it out for a lot of threes, so a lot of those rebounds come out long. So you just got to be, you know, ready to contest and, you know, kind of rebound your area outside of that. Um, you just got to be better in that aspect. Austin, uh, what did you see in the third quarter when the game shifted? Uh, I think Darvin mentioned they had a 22 to 11 run uh, during that stretch. Like, what, what, where do you feel like this game flipped from you guys having the lead to going down double digits? Uh, I really think it started in the uh, end of the second quarter. Uh, I think we had like a 11, 12 point lead, 10 point lead. And, uh, we're playing really well. We're defending well, and then you know we kind of you know gave up a couple possessions, um, and you know they cut it to or they tied it, and then Brown hit the three to go into halftime. You know which gave us a little momentum, and then coming out they. Uh, just played better than us. Uh, you know, they made shots. We missed a couple good looks. Um, so you tip your hat to that. And, you know, we'll uh, try to get better. Austin, it was a 15-point game with about nine minutes to go. You guys cut it to six with six minutes to go. And then it just it seems like they 
kind of had like just one more play over that final stretch of the fourth quarter in terms of like you guys miss a shot, they make a shot, whatever. Uh, you know, what what's that? What was that feeling like in that comeback? And what do you think was missing to be able to just close it out? <coughs> um, I mean felt good we were rolling we were getting good you know looks on offense we were competing defensively making them take tough shots and um you know kind of getting out in transition uh, but i mean it's the, the nature of the game you, you might miss a good look and then they come down you know, get a good look or you know make a tough shot and uh you know those things just happen so um, it's good to have that, you know, run, get that feeling of, you know, see what we can do to be successful. Um, but we just got to capitalize on it, you know, next game. And the um, – Dar- Darvin used the word, like, that you guys need to be closer to perfect. LeBron said the same thing in New Orleans, that you have to play – against this team, you have to play pretty pretty close to perfect basketball. Um, did it feel like the mistakes kind of clustered tonight? Like, you mentioned that, that stretch. I think it was <coughs> Porter hit a three – turnover they score again and like boom it's an 8-0 run like did, and when they do cluster against a team that's this dangerous how how deflating are those those stretches against them uh i mean they're super frustrating obviously you know especially against a team like them because like you said that <clears throat> you almost had to play a perfect game anyway because they don't really make mistakes and when you kind of, you know, get them into, you know, say a 5-0, 7-0 run, you know, they slow everything down and get, you know, exactly, you know, where they need to, um, and they know exactly what they're going to get. They're going to get a, you know, an action that, you know, they're very comfortable with. They've, you know, ran a million times. Um, we just got to control, you know, those, the flip-flop of that. We got to control when they go on a 7-0 run. We got to do the same exact thing, get a possession that we know what we're going to get exactly on that possession um, to kind of deflate those runs. Because, uh, yeah, it's frustrating because, you know, how sound they are as a team. Austin, you guys put up 60 in the first half and then only 18 in that third quarter, and they outscore you by 17. Is that the difference? What is it for you personally that you feel like, man, we've got to do this better collectively as a team <coughs> come Monday? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, getting beaten any quarter like that, but, you know, especially that third quarter, um, you know, you can, you know, you can't really, you know, I don't want to say you can win a game in that quarter, but you can definitely lose one having a bad quarter like we had tonight because you're constantly clawing back. And like I said, it's tough to do against a uh, a very well-coached, you know, disciplined team when they know exactly what they're going to get to, uh, you know, every possession, even when you're on runs. So um, we have to be better at the first of quarters and end of quarters. Um, but especially that third quarter when we're coming out of halftime, we just got to have that, you know, intensity um, at an all-time high. That is, you guys are going to have to win one game here to advance. How's your confidence? Do you still feel you guys can get one here? Yeah, for sure. Uh, if we didn't think we could do that, then why are we even here? Uh, you know, we know what we're capable of. Obviously, they've had our number in the past, but... You know, you leave that in the past and you go, you know, fight for, you know, what you want to, you know, accomplish in this game. And, you know, I have no doubt in my mind that everybody in our locker room is going to leave it all out on the line. Thank you. Darvin, uh, just 18 points in that third quarter when Denver made their push. What did you see different about that stretch of the game from the rest of the contest? Well, I think it started at the end of the second, at the end of the first half. And so, uh, them going on that 22 to 11 round, whatever it was, um, it, it was shit. I mean, it, it, it's it's tough. Uh, the championship team is not going to beat themselves too often. They may start off a little slow, miss some shots here, there, turn the ball over every now and again, but you can't beat yourself. You know, you got to. We got to step up. And the one most glaring thing is those guys getting what was it, 15 offensive rebounds. Yeah. Yeah, for 18 yeah. points. So you can't allow them to get multiple possessions. Um, got to try as, as hard as you can as a group to gang rebound and hold them to one possession. And they got guys that see the ball go in once, it's going to go in twice. And 
obviously Murray, he's out there by himself. He's a handful. When you're out there with Jokic, they're a handful together. Jokic's going to try to make every, going to make every play, not try. Uh, every every smart basketball play, you know, known to mankind. So us, we just have to be more disciplined, more perfect. Rotation shift, uh, just LeBron playing the whole first and third, AD coming out. Uh, what, what was the thinking behind that, and how did you think it played out? Just him being competitive and wanting to stay. I, I wish I could play him the whole entire game. So we, we, we're on the same page in that regard. You know, you try to give him a rest when you can, but it's money time. I, I, I feel him wholeheartedly. So we just have to be smart with our nine game days. But this is the time. This is why you load manage. This is the time when you, if you need to push him, you have to push him. D'Lo went six for 20 tonight, and obviously there's the narrative of his struggles against Denver going back to, to last uh, season. What, what did you see from him offensively, and, and why? what gave you the confidence to stick with him? You know, as D'Lo is a huge reason why we're here in the first place. I'm not going to bail out on my player just because he's not he's missing the shots that he normally makes. Those same shots were going in against uh, New Orleans and, and other teams that he's played in, games he's played in to help us get to this point. So, you know, it's just... It wasn't his night, you know. Shooters are gonna have nights like that. Um, but I want him to remain aggressive. That was a good thing I saw. He remained aggressive. Uh, his energy remained great. He remained positive. And, you know, we'll go back and try to get better from the film and try to have a better performance game too. You guys need to be more perfect moving forwards. I mean, perfection in this game is hard to attain, but, but how close to it does it feel like you guys need to be against Denver? Again, um, it's just the offensive rebound, us being a, a better defensive rebounding team. Uh, and then we had some some possessions that got away from us some, in terms of turnovers. The six turnovers, uh, six points at halftime, another six in the second half that they got eight points off of. Just those little small things like that, against a team like this, they kill you. And so, but the biggest thing, you know, they got active athletic bodies. Um, Joker takes a shot. Anybody takes a shot from the perimeter, they got guys that's diving in there trying to tap out, get extra possessions. Um, so we have to be, when a shot goes up, we just can't turn and look. We got to get active. It's, it's a, another part to that, another element to that. That's why we call it multiple efforts. Uh, just everybody being engaged, no leak outs. In order to have a fast break, you got to have the ball anyway. So everybody should have a nose for the ball. When they shoot it, when they miss, everybody's trying to track down the ball. And then we can start our running habits and our pace to, to transition. Ahead of them. Say when I there, that, there was confidence that you guys had um, in some of the things that you did. Uh, in game one last year but, in the conference finals against them. Did you see enough of the good stuff tonight to, to, to feel good about kind of yeah. the, the path forward? Yeah, yeah I, I, I truly believe it's still going to be a hard-fought series. You know, we don't want to make – everybody's going to lose their mind over one game. And give them their credit, they held served at home. They're a tough home team, tough to beat in general, but they're really good at home. So I guess it's a matter of going back to the drawing board. We did a lot of good things out there tonight. Uh, just that one glaring element of rebounding that we got to clean up and try to figure out. After a strong start, LeBron just had six shots in the second half. How much was that dictated by, I guess, adjustments from Denver's defense? And do you feel like there's anything you guys could have done more to get him? Well, I have to more? go back and look at the tape um, and see why that was. Um, again, he's a guy that tries to play the right way. And so other guys, you know, may have had opportunities. But once I go back and look at the film, I'll be able to give you a direct answer. At end of the second quarter, into the third quarter momentum, and I know you've got to look at the tape, but what is it about their three-point shooting in that point defensively for you? Do you feel you need to change, or, or what in that window specifically? Just having a next play mentality. You know, if we thought we got fouled or it's a bad turnover, um, we had a turnover near half court in the first half. Bron chases down, KCP blocks the shot. The ball bounces, and when Bron ran down, we had a couple guys that started jogging. And things like that we got to clean up, we can't do. Uh, again, their defense will fuel their offense. We miss a shot, an open shot, or a point blank shot, we got to have a short memory. And if, even if we make the shot, 
we got to have a short memory and be ready to move on to the next possession. Next play mentality, we've been saying it all year, especially since we've been turning this thing around the last third of the season. So it's never more, it's never been more important than right now in this moment playing this team. To that, you talked about it's one game and, and holding serve. Do you mentally, uh, emotionally need to get into your players' ears about it's only one nothing and not anything from the past? Totally. We're in the moment. Like, whatever happened last year, early in the regular season, whatever, we, we have to be in the moment. We have to have a focus to be in the moment and, and to see how we can be better going forward. Again, we did a lot of good things out there tonight, and we just got to go correct the things that we didn't do so well. Darvin, obviously, Jokic is a load, uh, one of the toughest defensive matchups in the league. According to our numbers, Rui, uh, as a primary defender, he shot eight for nine. Um, does, what did you make of that matchup, even removing uh, the stat? And is there something else in your defensive playbook that you'll have to go to for game two? We have a couple of different things in that playbook. Again, we're going to go investigate the film and we wanted Rui to be active and energetic and you know uh, try to use his athleticism to deny opportunities and just face it. Though some of those, you go back and look what type of shots those were that, that allowed him to go eight for nine. I, I, I'm sure a bunch of them were contested. They weren't open. The kid's a hell of a player. Like You're going to play great defense and he's still going to score. I see it every day when teams try to stop LeBron and so uh, or AD for that matter. And you just, you know, again, just, just continuing to continuously fighting the fight. Uh, and yeah, we, if we have to go to something else adjustment wise, we do have a couple of more things that we can throw at them. So we're comfortable where we're at. Hate, we lost. Always don't, you know, you don't you want to try to start the series off in a good way, but give them credit. You know, they did what they needed to do. Now we have to go back, regroup, and try to do what we need to do on, on Monday. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.